Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating some fun pattern letters directly in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. The color palette is free as always, and we're also using a free brush for the diagonal lines. I'm going to show you my trick for creating a really easy diagonal line pattern brush directly in Procreate. And then the font that I'm using as the example right here is called Lulo. So I'll leave a link to all of those right in the video description, the color palette, the free brush, and then that font. I'm going to classify this one as an advanced tutorial because we're going to be using a bunch of masking tricks for this as well as creating that pattern brush. So if you are brand new to Procreate, then I would encourage you to check out my free Procreate 5X for Beginners course, and there's a link in the video description to that as well. I'm going to start by creating a brand new canvas that's 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 dpi. I work in the display P3 color profile, but if you're on an older iPad and don't have access to that, then the default sRGB color profile is perfectly fine. Okay, I've got my canvas all ready to go, and we're going to start by setting our background color. So just tap on the background color layer and choose the lightest pink color. You can see we're only using three colors for this entire project. And the next thing we're going to do is set our text. So let's change the color to this medium kind of purple color right in the middle, and we're going to add text. So hit your wrench up here, hit add, and then add text. And I'm just going to type ABC and double tap to select everything. And I can hit the double A over here. I like working off of this palette instead of the mini palette. And once again, the font that we're using is this Lulo, and I like using the bold style of it. I'm going to increase the size of this. I'm also going to increase the space between all the letters. So I'm going to up my tracking just a little bit and reduce, I think I'm going to go down to like 75. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to hit done, center them up. So from this point forward, the text will not be editable for this technique. So just make sure you have your text exactly the way you want it because everything else we need to do, we need to have rasterized text, which means it's uneditable text. We're changing our editable text into shapes. So in order to do that, you can keep a copy of this if you want. I usually do that just so I've got it in the background. If I change my mind and I wanna redo things later on, I just have that layer there, um, even though I'm not using it. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and just turn off this top layer. It's just my reserve layer. So for this one, we need to rasterize it. So tap on the little thumbnail and hit rasterize. Okay, now we have all of our text as an image. And the next thing we're going to do is go create that pattern brush that I talked about before. In order to do this, we need to create an additional canvas. So we're going to go out into our gallery view and create a brand new canvas. And this one can be the exact same size as our actual canvas, that 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 DPI. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, I've got my brand new canvas and this canvas is just going to be used so we can define what our pattern is going to look like when we create our pattern brush. So it's that diagonal line. And the the one thing you need to know is whenever you're creating a brush, we're defining the grain, which is the pattern of the brush. You need a black background and then whatever is repeating has to be in white and they all have to be flattened together. So that's why I can't just create a background color that's black. Using this method, I have to have an actual layer that's black. So you'll see exactly what I mean um, as we go through the different steps. So I'm just going to set a black background to my layer one. So over here, just double tap on black and you'll get true black and then drag it to the background for layer one. I'm going to create a brand new layer right above it. Select white, so double tap where the white is to get true white. I've got my mono weight brush selected and the size of this is 60% going to be a super thick brush. There we go. So from one corner to the other, hold it until it snaps so it's nice and straight. And now what we want to do is flatten these. I always like keeping an extra copy of them that are separated. So I, I group them together and then I flatten an extra group. So I will select both of these, group it together, duplicate the group. And now I've got this group if I ever need it with those separated layers. So I'm going to uncheck the visibility. That's just there for me if I ever need it. And then on this one, I'm going to flatten it. So tap the layer thumbnail and choose flatten. And now we're going to copy this. So tap in the layer thumbnail and choose copy. Now we're going to head back into our pattern letters canvas that we were just working in. 
Okay, I'm back here and now we're going to create a brand new brush. So right in our starter pack or whatever brush category that you're in that you wanna add it to, just hit the little plus up here and we're going to create a brand new brush. And everything is basically as we need it. With the default, we're just going to change the grain. So under shape, make sure that this is a hard circle and you can just leave the settings exactly as they are. And then under grain, you're going to hit edit. You're going to hit import and choose paste and that paste that line that we just had in here and then hit done. So now we need to edit this brush a little bit so it doesn't look so choppy like it is over here. So this is our preview. So we need these lines to be closer together. So in order to do that, we're going to switch this grain. Instead of a moving grain, we're going to change it to a textured grain. So tap on textured and we're going to reduce the scale down to 3% right here. So that's giving me that repeat right there and that's all I need to do over here and then if you go into properties just make sure orient to screen is toggled on it should be by default if you're just using a default brush so once you have that hit done and now if we create a brand new layer above our ABC layer just to show you what this looks like I'm going to grab this darkest plum color if I paint with it you can see we've got those diagonal lines now which is exactly what we need so now what I need to do is have our letters. So these ones are filled with just color right now. We need to have another version of these exactly as they're positioned, only they need to be filled with that pattern brush. So a really, really easy way to do that is just come to the layer thumbnail for your ABC, tap on the layer thumbnail and choose select. Come back to your layers. You can see these are my selection settings down here. Make sure yours match this, otherwise things will get messed up. So if you have all of this, the same way that I do right here, come to that brand new layer that we made, grab the darkest purple color if you don't have it already. We've got our brand new diagonal brush selected and all we're going to do is paint inside these letters. So if I paint inside them, they're only going to be painted. Those letters are the only thing that's going to get painted because they're selected and nothing else will get painted. And I just go over them a couple of times to make sure that I hit all of the edges. So now you can see they're entirely filled with this pattern, which is exactly what we need. So we're all done with the selection, so we can just deselect them. And now we're going to cut them in half. So half of them will appear with the pattern, and then the other half will be solid. So this is where all those masking tricks come in, and there's quite a few of them. So the first thing we're going to do is come to our ABC layer. Let me label this one diagonal ABC. Okay, so on the ABC layer, we're going to apply a layer mask. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose mask. If you're unfamiliar with masking, I would highly encourage you to check out the masking module in my free Procreate 5X for Beginners course. Everything you need to know about clipping masks and layer masks are right in that course. It's totally free. Okay, so I am on my layer mask. I'm going to make sure that black is selected. I'm going to come over here to my selection settings and change it to rectangle. So now I'm going to create a rectangle down the center of my A. I'm going to create a rectangle near my B. And I'm also going to do half of my C. And then I'm going to fill this with black. So I can just drag the black into those rectangles that I made. And now I can deselect. So now you can see I've got my left side of my letters exactly the way I need them, but now I need to get rid of the diagonal on the right side of my letters. So in order to do that, you're going to come to the layer mask, tap on the layer mask and choose select. Down here, you're going to hit invert. And then you're going to come up to the diagonal ABCs layer, tap on the layer thumbnail, and choose mask. And now that will mask those away. So hit the little selection icon up at the top to deselect, and there are our pattern letters. So you can see we've got diagonal on the left and just solid on the right. So it's a fun little trick. Once you see how masks operate, whether you have your regular mask and then you can invert the mask. So we took what was selected, we inverted it, and then applied it to a different layer. So that's what allowed us to get rid of the diagonals on the right side of the letters. So that's how to create pattern letters directly in Procreate. Once again, links to everything mentioned in this tutorial are right in the video description, including that free color palette, the free brush, and the example font. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, 
every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.